So we climbed, as in climbed as in road, we rode up this. This is like the highest point in the town. Hey, Nay. And um, Nay's gonna leave me at some point and I'm gonna ride the rest because it's gonna get a bit dodgy, I think. But she's gonna ride the first 5Ks, isn't it? Or 10Ks or something, I'm not sure. I think it might be 10Ks. And then I'm gonna do the rest. Look how many caravan is around. It's heaps. And oh my god, there's another one. So, um, yeah, that's the town. We're gonna ride along this track here. Oop, along that track there. All the way up, and then it goes to something else, and then it might go like, into the foresty sort of area. I'm not too sure. It looks like it might be San Juni, so I don't know. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, it is a, it's a very beautiful area. I can imagine it wouldn't be so beautiful in summer, though, because it will all be very dry. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Oop. Pretty chopped up track. <laughs> Why are all these tracks so goddamn sandy? This is the kind of sand it is. Like it's super. Super like soft, especially on the sides. Like that's crazy soft. And that's Nay's mark just from walking it. So yeah, I, I can't be bothered walking with Nay all the way back up the hill. I mean up the um along the sand. So I'm gonna try and get it up that. From my experience, if I can um if I can climb up it or walk up it, I can get my unicycle up. So I'll try with the scooter, see how it goes. Smashed it. <laughs> now me. We are now saying our goodbyes. And it's getting all ready to go. Because yeah, it's like a, you really can't see on the phone. But you can, I guess you can tell with the smaller stuff. It's really steep. In fact, you can tell by this. Are right, you ready for it? I'm gonna probably regret this. Uh. <laughs> Easy does it. Oh. Okay. I think that illustrates it pretty well. It's bloody steep. And then it has another one of these bastards over here. So I should have to carry it over that. And I'm gonna see how far I can go. I'll do little snippets along the way to show you the, the cool trail. Wow, this is a very pretty trail. Check it out. Pretty amazing. I this is this place hardly gets mentioned, these trails. And it's 500 Ks. Look at that. It's so blue. Such a nice trail. Oh, it's a bit windy at the moment. But I, I don't know if it's just because it's winter or it's always this green, but damn. It's almost like Scotland. Just look at that. Oh, sexy. So the trail has turned a little bumpier, however, it is still incredible. It's just like this now. Not that, like, gravel, but it's not, it's not too bad though, you don't really notice it. But it definitely, uh, definitely has a couple more bumps. But, oh my god! How do people not advertise the York Peninsula walking thing? Crazy stuff.
like such a nice smooth ride, then a little bumpy and then they're just like full on off-roaded and then like down a super steep part. Like getting this up, it actually like skips a little. It's amazing, it's so weird that they're like, surely they could just build a little bridge and make it like super accessible. Like someone trying to get the e-bike up here that's on like, you know, 50 years old or something, maybe 55, 60, that would suck. That would absolutely suck. I don't know if they could. If you actually like cut in sort of like steps a little bit, you can sort of see it. Yeah, it looks like it probably goes nice again. So I'm back on one of those like weird little loop throughs. Oh, you can't really see it, but there is some massive wombat holes. Look at the size of that thing. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. I'll show you. They're impressively large, like, check it out. Massive. Like, how big are these wombats? This guy's got a front door and a back door. Kind of two front doors. I wonder if I could jump it. Probably could. Right, I'm gonna set my phone up and I'll, I'll see if I can jump it. Jump a wombat hole. How good was that? Totally smashed it. Now people are going to see my jump lines. Oh, it's heat far. Easily cleared it. What a good, I wish the wombat was here. I miss Mariah Island wombats. You could literally just like stroke them their fuzzly hair. Go to Mariah Island if you want some wombat stroking. It's pretty nice. They're super chill. Bring some carrots. They love carrots. No, they don't. I don't know why I brought a carrot. <laughs> There, this is the first um, first stairs I've encountered. It's not too bad. There's a bit of like a kind of like a dirt corner to it, if you know what I mean. So you can sort of like just wheel it in the dirt next to it, which isn't too bad. Is what I did. But yeah, first stairs through the track so far, and it looks like it keeps going a trail. Yeah, you know lately I've been talking a lot about like how everyone's super nice and like free in the country. Look at this. Even these chickens right next to the highway, totally free, not constrained at all, just chilling in the grass, doing their thing. Not even near the road, but totally free. They have the choice. Gotta love country. So it looks like um, I've probably done maybe like 500 meters, 600 meters of the uh, highway kind of path next to it. But um, looks like it's another maybe 200 meters, 100 meters, maybe even less. And then it goes whoosh, straight off to the beach again, which is awesome. Thank God. Oh, you know what? It's right there. You can see the you can see the yellow sign. It looks like. Oh, yeah, there it is. I think that's it. It's a bit hard to say. Uh, it might not be it. Oh, I think it is. We'll find out. Oh no. So I'm up to the beach walk bit, Black Point to Point Julia. I have like... 68% or possibly 70. Last time I looked it was 70, but I've ridden a little bit, so I reckon around 68. So I'll, I could make it to Port Julia, probably. But beach walk. This may be my uh, my crunch point. Am I gonna have to turn around? Or can I actually make it? It really depends on the kind of beach. Like if it's the kind of beach I can ride across, definitely. If it's the kind of beach where it's crazy sandy and it's gonna be effort to walk across, hell no. If it's the kind that I could walk the unicycle, like, you know, just push it and not be all uh, exhausting. This doesn't look like a very long amount of sand. I'm gonna say I'm gonna bog down pretty soon. Woo, drifties. Nah, that's probably it. If I push it, it'll just, just... Well, there is seaweed. It looks like there's a bit of hard stuff, a bit further up. It's pretty soft here. I could easily walk though. It's not like bogging down my legs kind of walk. I definitely couldn't ride this bit, not yet. Oh, even this is like... I can close up, maybe. Ooh, that's hard. Yeah! Yeah, son! 
Oh, I can ride it. I'm not sure how the seaweed is going to get, but we'll see. I'm definitely getting thicker. Oh, Jesus. Almost up to the pedals. There might be thick parts. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but I'll, uh, I'll see if I can. Then I will. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, I reckon if I just stick near the water, I'll be I'll be safe. I think so. Hell yeah, the Port Julia. So I've still got quite a ways to go. Well, it's uh, like four k's I think from here, maybe five k's. But it is um, it is all beach, and I can ride on this stuff. Oh, this stuff's hard. This stuff's quite soft, as you can see. So I've been trying to like sort of skim along the rocks. So if the water comes in at all on the way back, I'm gonna have a hell of a walk back. So unfortunately, um, the beach is pretty shit. So I noticed there was a farm somewhere nearby. I just gotta go to this sketchy ass by my fence. So I figured I'd film it, you know? You really see the tension in it. Hold it, swang. All right, how am I doing this? Oh, that stuff's soft. Look at that, holding straight. Ooh. How good is that? It just holds it there. Oh, now for just the human, the easy part. Alright. Let's go to the cover. Oh. Hope there's no bulls in these paddocks. So it looks like if I go along this bush bit for a while, I'll come to like a paddock road thing where I guess the person's property, whatever it is. It might be parks land, I don't really know. But um, looks like they have their own road, so I might be able to follow that down. It's just the end of this. It's pretty long. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's a lot better than the beach. Poor Julie, here I come. <laughs> this is the difference between barbed wire and not barbed wire for getting it over a fence. Check it out. Alright. Ready for it? It's not barbed wire. You gotta lay your body against it. Oh, my makes that so painful. You can still get it over, it's just harder. So it turns out it was along this, like, just. Look at the size of this guy's land. It's massive. But yeah, I just went, like, along the border and then over this. Yeah. And it looks like it goes into like possibly a sort of dirt path that goes all the way up and cuts that much beach off. And then I'll uh, hopefully be allowed to go back along the beach. I am glad I brought this warm stuff because although it's really hot now, it's going to be cold on the way home because <laughs> I am going so far. I'm really committing to this. I want to make it to that last town. I've still got over 50%. I can do it. See you there. Yeah, it's not as smooth as I thought it was going to be. Uh, but it is still significantly better than the beach. I can now see the beach. It looks like all the sort of crappy bits have ended and it's gotten a bit harder, possibly. I don't know if it's going to continue that way, but these rocks are killing my legs. Sore as hell. Like, it's just littered with rocks the whole way so I'm um, gonna take it dry it out just gonna get down the little embankment and I'll be sailing smooth for at least a little while <laughs> keen oh yeah oh that's smooth I am definitely gonna have to walk this I think that is pedal clip city maybe I could just kind of like dodge around him a little bit So it started getting a bit soft again, and I don't think I can ride the rest. It's like, probably from like that point, it was like, 
and I'm like, oh, I have to walk it. And it looks like it kind of uh, gets rockier and dodgier. So I was thinking, well, what's up top? And um, yeah, that looks like a decently smooth trail right there. Like, doesn't look like as many rocks or anything. Cars really nicely smoothened it, looks like. There's also like a little cliff face here that I'm not sure if I'll be able to get up. I should be able to. Usually anything I can get up by myself, I can get the unicycle up. So yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a face. But I think I should do it, because this is all too soft. And it'll be such a beautiful view from up there. All right, let's do it. I agree with you, camera. Oh, uh, well, it's a... Uh... It looked like it was really like badly earthed off, like completely earthed off, but apparently these, all three are electric. Ow, it was after a couple times. It wasn't too bad, it was just like a little tink, but still, didn't expect it. They've like electrified all the barbed wire fence. I don't think the barbed wire would be electric. I mean, this clearly will be, but, but I mean that, I mean that bit maybe not. I don't know. Either way, it's at me. Sometimes it doesn't always go to plan. But, uh, yeah, it might not this time either. <laughs> so I was on that side of the fence, and it's just like thick grass, there's not really a trail at all. And then on this side of the fence, it's just like thick bushes, like if you can see, unicycle wise, that'll be pretty shit for my pedals, because I'll be uh, catching literally everything in that. So um, I think I'm gonna try the beach again. It's a little bit of a cliffside, if you can kind of see the, the cliffside-y. I reckon I could probably walk it down. It's a little dodgy. Hope I don't slip. Be a good unicycle and hold me. Alright. Get this little fella. Oh. That's already what we've come up. Oh, sketchy as. Whoa. Sliding. Woo! Legit cliffside. Is there nothing you can't get down that unit with the unicycle? Kind of carved a bit of a hole though. Hell yeah! Sweet. All right. Is it all worth it? Please be hard. That's a pretty bad sign. Oh, it's actually. It's like kind of hard, like it's not soft soft, I could probably ride along some of it, I reckon. It's definitely coming in with the water. I'm thinking I might have to hitchhike back or just try like, I reckon I'll ride along the highway and then I'll put my thumb out if I see like a ute or something. Looks like I finally found my way out. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a few stairs, not too bad. And I'm pretty sure I also just found a shark egg. Check it out. Yeah. That is totally a shark egg. That's pretty cool. How pretty is this? There's a heaps of these little flowers. Look at them all, they're gorgeous. They look so happy. And there's so many of them. Yellow ones, orange ones, pinkish ones. Poor Julia, look out. That is quite pretty. Wonder if this is like cliff edge. Whoa, it is. I can't wait to get an FPV but drone just. Nay said that um, she wanted to go from here that way because it gets really nice and the trail looks like it's gotten nice again so I think that's a good idea that is one sheer massive cliff it's definitely gotten a lot higher all right I think I'm gonna try and head back now so I either have 11 k's along this road and then the highway or I find a hitchhiker there's a guy I literally just went past I should have but uh 
I didn't. I like literally just gone to the road as he's passing. I was like, ah, well. I'll try the next person I see. I really love the no fence look. It's just like road. Oh, vibrating strips. Straight to field. It's so nice. Made to Point Pine and back to the trail. So my phone has 8% battery. My unicycle has 16% battery. And I have 16 kilometers. I'm gonna have to walk a little bit of the hills, I think, because I totally can't make a kilometer per percentage. Well, I'm not gonna make it. I'm 8Ks away still, and you'll hear it do it. There we go. I'm going to the beep, beep, beep. So I'm gonna start getting tilt back soon. Max hit tilt back, and I still got 6.5Ks left. Oh, oops, someone's coming. Got to try the good old hook. Come on, it was a dude by himself. This makes me feel like maybe I should shave my face. <laughs> I've never been rejected so much, but I haven't hitchhiked since I was a kid, so I guess it's just, I guess I'm intimidating now. I'm, a, I'm an adult with facial hair. Ah, it makes hitchhiking harder. I need to be a chick with massive bosoms. That'll, that'll get me every time. But uh, yeah, I hit max tilt back, so um, I have to walk now. I can't, just, I can't even ride down, ride the straights. This is a little downhill, that's why I was riding it, but uh, yeah, too much apparently. So I have to go only downhills. See you guys if I make it. Just got denied by a Volkswagen Touareg. I don't know why, but that hits hard. <laughs> so I've, um, it's downhill a little bit. So I'm gonna try and ride it. And hopefully I don't lose much power because it's downhill. And um, Nay's meeting me. Oh, instantly starts beeping again, so mad. It's like, don't ride me. But um, yeah, so Nate's meeting me on a scooter, and then I'm gonna jump on the scooter, and then wheel the unicycle next to me. I've done it before. It's not too bad. But uh, yeah, that's my plan, because it's still like six point something Ks, or 5.8 Ks, I think. Oh, that's big ass trucks. I think it's 5.8 Ks left to go, so she's gonna meet me. It's gonna take her 15, 20 minutes. Otherwise, it'll take me an hour and eight minutes walking. But still, not too bad. Totally made it. I mean, like, I could have made it walking. But I'm glad she's picking me up. It's so much easier. I may have a long walk ahead of me, but at least it's easy to push the unicycle. Naomi, the knight in shining armor. Come to rescue my ass. You made it! I ordered an Uber. An Uber Naomi. Awesome. Ready to give me that lift? <laughs> oh, I'm tired of walking. <laughs> Mm. would have been such a long story. Oh yeah. Walk. How far have you ridden so far? Oh, so far. Oh, so far. How far? Do you have an extra Yeah, check it. 3.8 k's. 3.8 k's. I made it pretty far. I made it over halfway. <clears throat> That's pretty good. What? Milestone! Oh man, she's one away. Look at that. Oh, how are we going to stop in kilometer? So congratulations to Naomi Scooter. It has made 2,000 kilometers. And my unicycle is super unhappy. Like... Oh, wrong way. If you can see the angle that it's at. Like. <laughs> oh God. It's so hard to push like that. It's a lot easier when we're moving. <laughs> it's so not happy. I'm sorry, buddy. We'll charge you up. So I made it home after Naomi's helped. And I was a bit nervous, but I plugged it in. It sparked a little though, which is a bit strange. And it smells a bit like burnt electronics, which is not great. Because yeah, last time I put it down this low, it didn't charge because one of the cells was too low. But, and it sparked a little, which is weird and it's never done that before. But it's charging, so it's probably good. But yeah, it smells like burnt electronics, which is a little nervous. Hopefully it's all right. It looks all right. Don't crap out on me. Thank you for watching. That was it for Port Julia and Ardrossan. We are now in Stansbury and we'll be continuing to explore the trail. This drone footage is from Port Julia. Catch you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.